YouTube, it's Kathy. Today we're gonna do a hair treatment called Bantonite Clay. I know many of you have probably already researched this, so don't worry, I'm not gonna regurgitate a bunch of information that you can find um, readily available online. But what I am gonna do is quickly run down some of the benefits as to why I'm trying it for the first time today. Yes, I have not utilized this treatment uh, as of yet, but today will be a first. What, from what I've read and some of the reviews and just information I've obtained, Bantonite Clay acts as an extreme cleanser to your hair follicles as well as your scalp. It also does these actions by pulling out the impurities uh, from your like dead skin cells and excess dirt and pro uh, product from your hair follicles as well as your scalp without over, um, over extracting. What also is a good benefit is that it actually doesn't over dry out your hair. It keeps some of the natural moisture that you already have in your hair in your hair, which is really beneficial for ebony type hair. Because my hair, my texture and type, it's really important that we do not over dry out our hair for growth purposes. Um, I've also read a lot of reviews on women that are natural and not permed utilizing this treatment to define the curls. I'm going to translate that to, to permed hair or treated hair as a detang detangling mechanism as well. If it defines natural curls, it can only help by uh, separating the hair and, and uh, making it easier to detangle if you are natural. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to pull the mixture. I am actually neck length hair, so I'm going to review and monitor the amount of clay mixture that I'm making for my length of hair, which is neck length. So if you have longer, you want to make sure, just like anything, like you apply your deep conditioner, you're going to just eyeball it for your hair length and, and type. And okay, so I'm going to add the ingredients that I'm going to use today. already have some in the bowl. We are using a glass bowl and you want to go ahead and use um, something to mix with. Also using, some people use water, some people use apple cider vinegar. I am choosing to use apple cider vinegar because it also is a cleanser as well. So water, I guess you could say cleanses as, cleans as well, but apple cider vinegar is known as a cleaning agent. Grapeseed oil. I am using my oil of choice. I'm also adding 100% peppermint oil and I think it's going to help with cleansing and opening and extracting the pores to ensure lots of cleanliness. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Careful with the peppermint oil. You don't want to, as you're playing with, keep it away from your eyes at all costs. Alright, I'm going to continue to mix up my mixture, evaluate the amount that I'm gonna be using on my hair, and I'll be back in just a moment. We're back. I've already started applying some of the clay to the back of my hair. So the back is complete. We're gonna go ahead and move to the front. It is extremely messy. I had to take off my shirt and put on a tile because it's really messy. But let's go ahead and do the application to 
the front part by sectioning it off. And I can definitely feel the peppermint in the back of my hair. And I can feel it penetrating through my pores, which I like. All right, I'm gonna finish up applying and I'll be back. It's finished rinsing out the clay out of my hair and I am telling you, my hair is so wet, soft right now. I have not felt my hair like this. I don't know, it's, it's really different. I definitely think everybody needs to try. I'm really excited now I'm about to do the deep conditioner. Um, deep condition my hair. I'm going to set under a little bit of my heat cap probably for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to do a different video on what mixture I use with my deep condition. DC, deep condition. However, this clay treatment made my hair so soft. I cannot wait to show you the finished product. Alright, I'm going to... This video is over. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair into four. I'm going to detangle it, which I see why they say detangling is a breeze because it's really all separated. I'm going to put everybody in four little parts. Um, after detangling, then I'm going to let it kind of damp dry for a little bit while I mix up my deep condition components. So this video is over, however, no it's not over. I'm going to post the results after I finish deep conditioning and then doing my styling process. But in terms of right now, my hair is extremely soft, so I definitely like what I see so far. Hey, I'm back. Now I've blown my hair out. I just wanted you to see after the band tonight clay treatment and the DC regular every time we wash deep condition tr treatment. Um, I have round brushed my hair out. It's extremely soft. I'm really excited to style it. Um, it is kind of big so don't be scared. It looks like a mop almost like ah! So what I'm going to do, I just wanted you to see my hair completely blown dry blow dried out after both treatments and then I'll come back after it's completely styled. It is extremely soft right now. Very lightweight and I'm going to style it and I'll be back.